Monkey and the Elephant is a cafe in Birdtown that offers employment opportunities to former foster youth. My background has been mostly working in coffee and working in coffee shops um, in the Philadelphia area. I went to school and got a degree in psychology, um, but also really wanted to travel. And so I went to South Africa where I had a friend living. I was introduced to an organization that worked to get street boys off of the street. Um, so that was my introduction into the fact that there exists a challenge in the world that young people can be connected to support services and getting all of their basic needs met in terms of housing and education and food and clothing and that they can turn a certain age and have all of those resources disappear. In the PA State Resource Family Association, there are 13 to 15,000 children currently in foster care. On average, 1,100 youth age out or leave the system when they turn 18, losing all the resources given to them throughout organizations. Lisa Michaelis, founder and executive director of the Monkey and the Elephant, uses her experience in coffee shops and her degree in psychology to extend a hand. There was an opportunity to um, provide a place where these incredible young adults could learn um, employment skills and life skills and get connected to a community of caring people who want to see them succeed um, and I think that my experience working in coffee shops really lended itself for that and there was the chance to open up a coffee shop that did just that um, and so that's that's what I did and here we are uh, and we've been open for almost four years. They help with life skills, uh, like different things like how you should act in a workplace, um, like how to treat your managers, talk to them, different things like that, like different ways to prepare for actual work like when you get into different jobs and stuff like that. I learned a lot, they teach you a lot here, they teach you how to like manage your money, how to open a bank account, uh, they push you for the best, um, yeah they just teach you what you need to learn I guess. So I, was, I wasn't the talkative type, I always like turned around or something. Uh, they just opened me up more. You know, they put me like front and center like, here you go, you're at the register now, talk to all these people. And you just have to sit there and talk to all these people. <laughs> the positive energy and the way Lisa runs the nonprofit organization keeps customers coming back on a daily basis. I came into this store before it was ever the business that it currently is. But um, I mean, what makes me walk in every day at this point are the funny quirks on the sign that are always on the A-frame. It's, it's just a really friendly environment. Um, a lot of the times I'll be going uh, on the phone in the window and someone will see that I'm headed here and my coffee will already be out before going through the line. So that's pretty cool. The vibe here is actually really warm like, and it's really inviting and all the staff have really good attitudes and like usually people don't have bad days. Even though like we go through a lot and stuff like that, even when we do come in and things might be going on, when you come in here it's not, it's not like that. Like you can't have a bad day and be in here. A typical day would be you come in, you know, uh, put your stuff downstairs, see what's going on, like see if this bar need to get stocked with milk or whatever the case may be. See if, you know, your peers need help initially because usually in the morning it's really busy. So um, come in, either jump on sandwiches, coffee, whatever it is, restock. Um. I actually talk to other people about why I enjoy this shop and a lot of it comes down to the program that Lisa's running and like it, it's a coffee shop as it is but it also has so many additional benefits. To, to coming here and giving this place your money. She does such a great job with hooking people up with a line of employment after here. Um, it's just, uh, I'm inspired by what she's taken into her own hands to be able to provide to the community. And that just really speaks to, to me. That's something that I really enjoy.